Hello, Red Throw Games here. Yes, this is my real voice. So, hello. What is this video for, you may be wondering? Well, I'll be just be saying a massive thank you to everyone who's helped me reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube shortly after Chapter 1's release. I know that to some people, it's not really a lot of subscribers compared to other channels, um, but this really small community of people just enjoy my game Radio Wave has made me really thankful for your support throughout my development journey and helped me motivate me to make Radio Wave the best as I can, just remaking it, fixing bugs, and just, you know, planning out the game overall. I really like all of the support and feedback you guys have given me. So, as a reward, I guess, uh, here is the 1000 subs video. Yeah, so sit back and enjoy. So, shortly after I decided to remake the Radio Wave series and turn it into something more polished, I went through many different projects attempting different and unique games. One project was a Radio Wave game inspired by Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion and Roblox Doors, where you go through a set amount of rooms to an exit in a random order. This idea was scrapped because it didn't feel right transforming Radio Wave into a game, it's not really meant to be a procedurally generated rooms horror game. Besides, the art style I made for it at the time looked very horrible, and I thought I was doing something unique, trying a cartoony style, which does not work for a horror game, obviously. So I started again and made something else, which was the Radio Wave you probably know today. As a passion project that started almost two years ago by a developer with little to no experience, Radio Wave had many different models ever since I first started concepting about it. Some of them looking good, some looking bad, but after the remake Radio Wave project with generated rooms was scrapped, I still wanted to recycle a few models from the project. So, taking Radio Wave's model from the game, I added more limbs, joints, and added PPR textures to him, leading to Radio Wave's model in the final game. After that, I started working on the real Radio Wave game, which I decided should focus a lot on maze horror. Although I don't have too much development footage, mainly ones where I was making the first maze you encounter in-game in Radio Wave, which looked extremely difficult and had tight and enclosed spaces, which didn't feel nice at all to play in for our playtesters. So it was eventually expanded and the room was made bigger. The Radio Signal minigame in the game was inspired by a Radio Frequency minigame in Batman Arkham Asylum. As you can see, I had more, many more ideas for this radio wave uh, this time around, so I added many of them, especially the dead bodies, which I made using a free open source software uh, that gave free CC0 human models, and I just chopped the head off. This is sadly where behind the scenes ends though, as I don't want to spoil too much plans for the game, but I think in the next section you'll get a good glimpse of what I plan to do in the future. So, what are the plans for Radio Wave? Right now, I can't upload to Steam yet, yet, but I am working with a few people to help make it happen soon. However, during this time, all updates I make to Radio Wave will be completely free and available to download for on itch.io until I make a paid Steam game, with the price of it to be going up until the full game releases. So what are the updates? Besides a few minor patches over the next few days, here's the next big update. Custom mode. I'll be releasing an early version of this new exciting mode soon, we'll be able to survive against robots at difficult difficulties in various maps. Although it's going to be a bit small when I la first launch it, I'll be adding some more over time. It's an exciting little mode I have planned that will give the game great replayability and some challenges to some of you who complete the story or want some more of the Radio Wave universe. But what about Chapter 2 then? Radio Wave Chapter 2 will be the update after that, which will include the return of the lovely voice of Telebot from the original Chapter 2. As I'm taking a bit of a break over the next week or two, I'll be finalising the Chapter 2 script and making it alongside the new custom mode update. And after that of course, it's Chapter 3 and that is when the game should be fully complete with all three chapters and a custom survival mode, which is exactly what I want this game to be when it's finished. So please give me time, spread the support and love, and the game will be finished eventually. And with that, our final section. Alright, and this is the Q&A section, so without further ado, I guess we should get started. Why did you make the main antagonist a radio? Because I really find radios fascinating, and I think they could be pretty cool if you 
make them like, like it's just creepy to be honest. Like the static coming out of them, and like you don't really know what it is. So yeah. All right, next question. Uh, how did you come up with the name of Radio Wave? That's actually a pretty good question. Originally, he was called Radiohead, but I didn't know at the time it was a band. And I named him that because he had a radio for it. So I started thinking of some ideas for another good name. And I just thought, well, what do radio wa radios emit? Radio waves. So that's where I got the name. Will Radio Wave one day release on console? That is a good question. Um, I was thinking of releasing it on console, um, but obviously it's really tough to do, and obviously not everyone has their game on console. So I'm currently looking into it, it's not my number one focus at the moment, but I think I will be able to do it. Will I see my family again? No. If this is following any law from the first game and Tim Daughter is got killed by the CEO, which I'm pretty sure is John, does he even care about her? Because he really doesn't seem like he does. Wow, that was a long question, but uh, the answer to that is yes, uh, the da daughter did get killed. But that's all I'm willing to spoil, I don't really want to add on to it. I'll let you guys think of theories and just discuss what the story could be. I mean, it's a straightforward story, but yeah, I think you guys will be able to get it. Okay, well, that's the end of this Q&A. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm really grateful that we hit 1k subs and we got quite a couple of downloads and tons of videos on the game. If you want to see more updates for Radio Wave, be sure to subscribe and make sure to follow us on Twitter or join our Discord if you want to chat to me. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.